So, get ready for the delicious taste of Sharia rice with vermicelli. It's the best taste! Let's uh, see the ingredients together. Uh, actually, I start with the rice. And we we're gonna talk about the rice a little bit. This kind of rice, if you see, is a short green rice. Not long green, not uh, jasmine rice, or any other kind of rice. Uh, so it's gonna be short green. This is how they do it in Egypt. And actually, it's really good because it doesn't be, it get sticky or like so you can see it piece by piece is gonna be separated after cold. So we got two uh, uh, cups of rice. This one we'll talk about it. It's Sharia. Uh, they call it Sharia in Egypt, which is very thin, skinny, dry noodles. And it's uh, actually the name in English is. Uh, uh, vermicelli or vermicelli. Vermicelli is the correct name. Uh, so some people pronounce it the other way. And it's like here. I do two to one. You can do different, but uh, the way they do it is uh, two uh, measurement of rice to one measurement of vermicelli or vermicelli. Vermicelli. <laughs> so uh, also. Uh, Everything needs salt, so you're gonna pinch of salt you can, as you taste, or you can put like uh, two teaspoons of salt. We have some uh, uh, grapeseed oil. You can use canola, you can use vegetable, any kind of oil, you can use it. But uh, now we're gonna start with uh, a little pan here, turn on the fire. Uh, we turn on the fire on the pan and now we're putting the oil first which is the grapeseed oil or whatever kind you choose then uh, you can add the uh, vermicelli uh, like first so you can uh, toast it I need it to be dark don't worry if it's good it's dark because after that you're gonna add water and it uh, will not be dark anymore. Uh, keep stirring it as much as you can. Now, it's mix it with the oil, so it doesn't, don't leave it on the sides of the pan, it's always in the bottom, so it's just get evenly cooked. And now you like smear it around. Now, if you look at it, you're gonna see it is the, the color is very uh, good color, but not yet. You have to make it darker, as we said. And when it comes to this point, you need to get ready with the water. Now, this is the right color to uh, add the water. So you start adding the water. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. Ooh la la! This is my favorite sound. You can add the rice. And stir. Uh, after you add the rice, now we can add the salt and taste it. You can test it to see uh, if it's uh, the salt is good or you need to add more salt. Mm, need a little bit more salt. 
So another pinch of salt. And it will be good. Now you just stir it, uh, keep it in a high flame all the time until uh, it's uh, kind of like no more water or like the water is very, very low. And I'll show you with the uh, camera. So when it's low, you put down the temperature very, very low. Uh, this, it didn't take like uh, maybe five minutes to uh, get to boil and uh, absorb the water then turn it low for another 10 to 15 minutes and we'll see so uh, after you stir it around together you are just gonna uh, cover it with the lid uh, uh, for a few minutes it starts boiling already but uh, you're gonna cover it uh, for a few minutes until uh, every all the water is absorbed then you stir it around a little bit and cover it for as 10 minutes or 15 minutes as we said so now it is boiling and it can be stick. Before it gets stick to the bottom, you gotta give it a little stir here and there. Not, not, don't open on it too many times, just two times or three times, because it's gonna get the water evaporated. But just to don't stick in the bottom, you stir it. As you see, look here, it's nothing sticky. It's all, uh, and now you see it's almost absorbed. So I'm gonna. Uh, cover it and make it get uh, the heat back to get hot again then I'm gonna turn it low also the flame is really really low like almost like the lowest you can do in uh, your stove and leave it for like 10 to 15 minutes no more than that and you're gonna get a delicious pilaf Egyptian rice and uh, we will test it and tell you how it tastes and I know how it tastes already Thank you. Okay, remember, uh, after you add the water to the rice and vermicelli, do not open the lid many times. Just one time or two times maximum to stir the rice to so don't get sticky before uh, the water get absorbed. But after the water absorb and turn it down, turn the flame down, uh, keep it uh, covered all the time until like, at least 10 minutes to start looking at it and it's low flame again covered because it's gonna be cooked on the steam not on the flame okay guys this one is the Sharia as we call it in Egypt but uh, uh, the Italian pronunciation is vermicelli and it is one pound of vermicelli. Uh, some people say vermicelli, vermicelli, vermicelli. Uh, you choose, but uh, this is one pound. Uh, it does not expire fast. It takes a couple years for expiration, I believe. And uh, you, I used it four times to five times. It depends how much rice you do. So uh, this amount, I bought the one cup was like fifth of the bag. Okay, now it's 10 minutes. So I'm gonna check it out and see you know every flame is different every even different oil in the stove is different so i say 10 minutes and you check it and if it's cold that's good if it still need more give it maybe four or five minutes when it's too low don't even worry about leaving it for a couple minutes here or there you can give it a little stir also like that to get all the flavor and as you see, it's very fluffy. It's everything everywhere like that. See like this. And I'm gonna try a little because. Very nice, very nice. But I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes because I feel a little bit bite in it. Okay, now we had fun. It's a time for me to have fun. It's gonna be cooked and delicious. And I'm gonna try it one more time just to end it. And here you go. Oh boy, see? Not a stick, like as is. 
See that spoon? It comes out empty. And here you go. Little hot, but I don't care. See the Sharia is falling in it like that. See the Sharia? It's like together. And here you go. I love you. Hey guys, I am using uh, a new spoon every time I buy it, so you don't think, even if it's between us here, no stranger, but as you saw, these two spoons, I used one, I'm getting a newer spoon, cleaner spoon, and now I'm gonna get some of this beautiful rice, in a little bit here, and as you see, see, look at it, look at it, see like, it's uh, fluffy, everyone, this is how you call it, pilaf, pilaf, like gotta be like piece by piece like no sticking at all i want you to look at it not look at me look at the right <laughs> and here you go get some more mm, steamy fluffy you know fluffy is not for the pear it's for the rice it's fluffy Mm, here you go. Once again, everything is like non-stick. Beautiful. Okay guys, thank you for watching today. Thank you for joining us and having fun together. And uh, this is uh, easy uh, rice pilaf, Egyptian uh, style with sharia or vermicelli together. It uh, didn't take too long, delicious, and you can eat it with any veggies or steak or fish, anything in the side dish for you, it's great. Uh, remember that it's always made with love from me to you.